here is our English textbook and we are going to learn unit 1 prose his first flight by Liam of Laati. and it is about a young seagull who is afraid to fly author introduction Liam of Laati is an Irish novelist and a short story writer and he was a famous personality during Irish literary renaissance and he wrote more book in English language compared to Irish language and he loved to travel and he loved to live isolatedly. His first flight by Liam of Laerty uh, tells us how to overcome fear and it teaches uh, courage and self-confidence too. Let me talk about fear. Fear is nothing but a false evidence that appears to be real. Yes, fear is a false evidence. It means it is a false one and we are making it real. Fear is everywhere and the thing we have to do is we should overcome it. Overcome fear. That's very important in life. Here there is a young seagull who is standing all alone on a ledge. He could not gather courage to fly. Despite the fact that his younger siblings have already taken their first flight and they are now flying fearlessly. But the vast expense of the sea in front of him made him afraid. In sense, avanukku munadi irukka and the kadala paatha parakkaradukku romba bayamma irukka. Legend sense, that is a narrow flat area that stick out from a cliff cliff is nothing but a here you can see it is a sharp rock on the sea now his brothers and sisters have flew away comparing to him they have very short wings his mother and father uh, fly around him and calls him to fly but he didn't gather up courage to fly after that, his parents thought how to fly, how to die for fish and how to skim on the wave. His siblings do that well and his older brother caught his first herring too. After that, his parents praised him, making a loud cackle. Seeing this sight, uh, he get disappointed and he is very hungry also. After that, many times... What is that? He came to the brink. Brink in sense the extreme edge of the drug. And uh, tried to flap his wings. But he afraid that he might fall down. And his uh, wings would never support him. You can see this. This is a ledge. And that is a extreme end called as brink. So despite making countless effort in sense, his um, parents uh, make countless effort in sense, they have scolded him, they have threatened him and they already informed that they will not provide him food unless he made his first flight but he didn't do that. But he trotted here and there, trotted in sense um, walking at a mile step here and there. So at last he managed to find a mackerel fish that do a dry mackerel fish style and he had that and then he keep on chewed the egg cell from which he came out at last what is that uh, hunger he's he's very hungry and he thought that uh, out of hunger um, i might die uh, he badly wants some food now so he saw his mother uh, tearing a piece of fish with her beak and they are resting in opposite side I mean op straight opposite to the cliff so he is shouting at his mother mother please give me some food like that but mother screamed in sense uh, again shouted back mockingly mockingly in sense teasing in a teasing manner uh, she is shouting back but again and again he keep on calling his mother after a minute, to his surprise, his mother fly across to him with a piece of fish, 
so he uttered a joyful scream and he is uh, waiting uh, eagerly to eat the piece of fish but at last what happened his mother halted at some distance inga halted na nama bird la paathirukom la apdiye air la parakama nikkume andha maadhiri andha piece of fish oda avanga mother vandu apdiye and air le nikkranga please refer the picture and now he is wondering why my mother is not coming very near to me and then maddened by hunger he dived to catch the fish suddenly his mother swooped upwards swooped means moving very quickly in the air after that he fell down from the cliff now he was very terrified for a moment he felt that his heart stood still but in the next moment his wings were cutting through the air and he was flying in the sky and this is how he finally made his first flight so congratulations to the seagull and now his family members rejoice means they are very happy and celebrating his victory and they are uh, cheering him and dancing around him and they offered us crab of dogfish too through this prose we have learned that one should overcome fear to succeed in life this first step we made matters a lot you should trust in your own ability in whatever the task you do so always rebuild your courage to face everything in your life try to apply this message in your real life also hope you understood well and thank you for listening